The following video may contain sensitive topics. The views and opinions of the presenter to these are plainly his own. Furthermore, any and all views and opinions of the presenter do not, in any way, reflect the views, opinions, statements, and advocacies of his personal contacts, his family, his affiliations, and his profession. While the presenter makes a commitment that all content is original, he is obliged to cite references or acknowledge resources mentioned or used in the production of this video. This disclaimer is also written in the description below. <laughs> I'm not in the ano, optimal condition to cycle. Medyo parang ano, uh, nagma-migraine yata ako. Everything is stacked um, against me. It sucks to be, ano, to be, uh, should I say, unemployed. Perfect Spanish. <laughs> 200 years. Napuruhan lang talaga ako. Pero, maliit lang yan. Guess where I'm located. Neely 360! <laughs> the legend is here. Why do you cycle? Bakit ka nagpabike? It is very surreal. Uh, these, ano, these two days of November. Kasi, whether we like it or not, dun din tayo, dun din tayo hahantong. Tara, kape tayo. <laughs> So last Friday was 11-11, the, the 11th of November 2022. Now a lot of people in the Philippines know this as uh, a shopping, uh, a shopping holiday, a shopping holiday of sorts. Dahil nga yun lang ang alam nila na 11-11. Pero there's another 11-11 that I think Filipinos. Sorry, yung kamay ko nagayan jan. Filipinos have to uh, remember, and that is the end of World War One. On the 11th hour of the 11th month of the 11th uh, day, on the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month of 1918, the guns fell silent on the Western Front, and uh, a lot of people fell from both sides. I have to tell you, mga war is hell. Nobody wants to go to war. And uh, certainly, those who died during the Great War, they really don't want to, but their nations, uh, their nations have uh, told uh, them to fight for their country. So, yun lang naman yun. Now, it is such a shame na hindi alam na mga kababayan natin na ang 11-11 ay hindi lang Singles Day and uh, honestly, it's a Chinese holiday for crying out loud. For me and for a lot of people who are uh, into history, specifically military history, 11-11 uh, is Armistice Day or Remembrance Day or uh, the Sunday nearest it would be Remembrance Sunday, lalo lalo na sa ano, lalo lalo na sa London or in the United Kingdom, Remembrance Sunday. And I think the British Embassy here in Manila uh, is also uh, having a, a Remembrance Service or a Remembrance Sunday service in an Anglican church in Makati. Yun yung pinakamalapit sa embassy nila. And uh, I think, I just think, we Filipinos have to recognize the very few uh, war veterans or the very, the very few uh, First World War uh, combatants uh, who served under the United States in the last few years of World War One. The most famous of them is Thomas Claudio, a native of Mor uh, of uh, Morong in the province of uh, now the province of Rizal. When the United States uh, entered the war era in around 1916 to 1917, uh, Claudio was one of the first uh, one of the first to volunteer. And uh, it just so happened that during the final final weeks of the First World War, he died. Originally, he was he fell uh, he he was buried where he fell in France. Pero nung na ano na identify na si Thomas Claudio pala yung ano yung nandon. Uh, the the American government here in the Philippines have decided to bring his uh, bring his body home 
uh, at kalaunan nilibing siya sa Manila North Cemetery. I really hope that um, once na upgrade ko na yung bike ko, makapagpadyak ako sa ano sa papuntang Maynila uh, on 11-11 para makapagpugay sa kanya. And for um, and honestly, mga kababayan, we don't just remember Tomas Claudio and everyone else er, and every Filipino who fell during the First World War. I just think na <laughs> there should be a public holiday called Tomas Claudio Day uh, in, in, in his memory and siguro in extension lahat ng mga tao na naglilingkod sa bayan natin na naka-uniforme naka whether they are rendering military, police, coast guard or uh, or uh, coast guard or other ano or other uniformed services i think this is a very ano this is a very specific uh, a very specific um uh, holiday or at least a commemoration for all these people they basically uh, took an oath to the flag and to the country at uh, they are the ones who are taking the bullet for us so as a sign of respect, I uh, I would like to thank uh, servicemen past and present for what they have done and what they are doing right now. Thank you for your service. At sana magingat po kayo sa sa duty ninyo. And to the fallen. We will remember them. Cheers. Today is the 24th of December, 2022. Yes, it's Christmas Eve. It was the ride before Christmas. Kasi nakabike, nagano ako, nagbabike ako. Kaka birthday ko lang. I just turned 30 a few days ago. Kaya ganon talaga. Hello po! <laughs> yes, Ito na naman po ako. <laughs> Shoutout kay Sir Sherwin Go at sa ano, kabuhuan ng, ano, ng Solid Cyclista Cavita or SSC. Uh, dahil ano, nandito din sila ngayon. In these nine days of the Christmas Novena Masses, we have commercialized Christmas too much that even the liturgy has been, ano, even the liturgy has been, um, has been, uh, bastardized for the lack of a better term i mean hindi na bago yun eh kasi a few years back may pare na nag homily on a hoverboard tapos ngayon ang nakikita nating viral ngayon uh, pare na naka ano na naka suit pa yung vestments niya ta sumasayaw i i don't i don't bloody care kung ano kung um tawag dito kung tapos na tapos na ang misa noon but the fact na nakasuot pa rin ng vestment si Father eh medyo medyo questionable yun. I am sorry for being a grinch when it comes to this but I just have to, okay? Kung kung si Santa Claus ang ano ang uh, party clown sa sa birthday party ni Yesu Cristo at si Jose Marichan ang little drummer boy, maybe people like me who who gives a gives a bloody damn about the liturgy? Maybe we can be the gr maybe we can be Grinches, and and yet even if we are the Grinches in the Christmas story, we would still kneel in adoration to the to the child Jesus. And uh, malay natin katabi natin si San Ignacio de Loyola na nakaluhod din at in inaalay ang espada niya sa sa Niño Jesus. I do have that. I do have that uh, that image of uh, Saint Ignatius of Loyola. Uh, Ni regalo sa akin for uh, sa Pasko uh, by someone who is affiliated with uh, with Ateneo. Kaya may ano may imahin din ako a few weeks or a few days back na parang ano naka just sa position yung imahin ni Saint Ignatius na kaluhod inaalay ang espada sa Virgin uh, the Virgin Mary. 
uh, ang meron lang sa Intrepid HQ yung um, Our Lady of the Most Holy Rosary but still the Theotokos is still the Theotokos so that's ano that's that the reason why we celebrate Christmas is because God came down on this earth to be one of us now I don't hindi ko naman kayo hindi ko naman kayo uh, pinipilit na paniwalaan yung pin pininiwalaan ko but that's Christmas for me if it is family reunions or if it is chilling or settling down getting some getting some rest uh, for the next few days or the the next um, or the the last remaining days of the year without having to interact with uh, interact with people it's fine you do you kababayan. you do you and uh, honestly whatever makes you happy good sa kodon that's just me i guess i just wanted to take this opportunity as well to uh thank everyone uh who would who would not be home this christmas lahat ng mga naka standby sa emergency services natin um, our um, our uniformed personnel who are on duty this uh, Christmas Eve and uh, everyone else who needs to work uh, for uh, for a living na hindi talaga makakauwi ng ating gabi I urge everyone to uh, spare a seat for them on the Christmas table mamayang noche buena and uh, I hope that uh, uh, you would appreciate the work that they do, especially our armed services who are far from their far from their homes and are and are in the ano, are in the front lines of uh, of danger. So uh, for everyone who would work tonight, today, tonight, and uh, tomorrow, a merry merry Christmas to you and thank you. For your service. Nandito ako sa isang kapihan dito sa Bawar Kabite, which happens to be uh, owned by this guy, si Dudut. Dede po kayo siyo, sir. Okay na po. 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 Uy, grabe ka naman, sir. Uy, grabe ka naman, sir. Ano? Hindi, ano, pero, ano, it's it's nice, ano, it's it's good, ano, it's good seeing you naman, sir. Ano? Na, nakatuwa lang talaga na ano na nabutan nabutan talagang alam alam ko na ano eh pero mas kayo mas nakakatuwa sir kasi dinayon niyo pa ako kahit naka bisikleta dala niyo sir medyo mainit pa ngayon ay ano ba naman yan sir grabe and to ito maliit na bagay yun kasi ano um naka ano na rin ako naka bike na rin ako sa iba't ibang lugar sa 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 buong kapite actually uh, nakatay, nakatagay-tay na ako nakik, ganyan eh naisip ko lang na ano na since malapit lang ito doon sa amin eh so, mga sir, ganyan yun? ah uh, alam nyo sa iyo mawit na lang po yung ah, uh, yeah Kasi Lalo na sa Aguinaldo, medyo banayad pa yung ako doon eh. Pero yung sabi sa akin ng ibang kapwa si Krista ko, uh, pag, ano ka, pag nakarating ka ng ano, nakarating ka ng 
Uh, eh, pag dumaan ka ng ano, bandang Alfonso, Ramadeo, talagang medyo makuna. Medyo makuna ang ride. Lalo sa ano? Maragondon. Ay, oo, sa Maragondon, oo. Yung ano, sa may bandang kay Liang Tunnel. Oo, ang dami ka na eh. Eh, marami din yung mga sikat na siklista dito na sa may bandang ano, bandang ng South eh. Mga nagbabakor, ibos, mga ganyan. Masaya, masaya magtoy kasi Para sa akin, sa pagbumike, eh, parang siya yung pinakamalapit na na chill na exercise. Uh, not just that, pero yung siya yung pinakamalapit sa description na sa kasabi kang sarili mo ang hindi ka sure. Siya yung pinakamalapit ko dito. 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 Siya yung Pwede ka talaga makapunta kahit saan gamit yung bike mo. Kaya yung mga ng indikasyon. Oo, oh, yeah. Oo. Oh, talagang, eh, nakaparamis din ako na ganyan, actually. Uh, talagang, minsan na, no? Minsan nakakapagod din talaga. Pero, ang galing. Nakakatanggal ng pagod niya. Kahit yung galing. Kasi, alam mo, alam mo na, pero, yun nga, uh, bukod, bukod din kasi sa, ano, sa, gusto ko rin magano. Uh, uh, hindi naman yung itsura ko, dito. Ha? Medyo halos magkapareso tayo ng itsura, oh, di ba? Okay, okay, okay. Mas malaki ako sa isa, ha? Yeah, pero mas malaki pa ako dito lang eh. Nung nagad ako, nung nagsimula akong magbike, promise, wala, walang biro, walang biro. Kasi talagang, ano, talagang, ah, uh, yun. O nga pala, Santo Nino nga pala ngayon, no? Oh, no? Oh. Anyway, um, uh, it's nice, ano, it's nice, ah, uh, it's nice, ah, It's nice uh, getting into this coffee shop. Bakit ba ito kayo? Parang madalas dito. Yun lang naman ako. Oo, siya tayo. Lapit lang naman siya. Oo nga eh. Kalapit lang sa Intrepid HQ. Anyway, baka ano, baka ma-overpower power pa tayo ng bala dito. Magpagkuhan na lang tayo off cam sa Dalila. Eto Thailand kung bakit medyo nakat yung interview ko kay Dudut. Anyway, mga kababayan. It's because it's the third Saturday, third Sunday of January, Santo Nino Sunday. So, talagang maraming ano, and malamang marami sa mga Mikey position dito, pupunta dito sa shop na to. Yun ang mga sabi ko. Anyway, <laughs> mukhang ano, mukhang titibahan ano, tiba -tiba na naman kayo ngayon, sir. <laughs> Mukhang tiba-tiba na naman kayo ngayon, sir. <laughs> Tara, kape tayo. Salted caramel, barista's recommendation. Ganda, sarap. Yun lang masasabi ko. Sir Dutz, tuloy na ako. Sige, maraming salamat, sir. Balik po kayo. Yes, sir, I will. At Thank ano, uh, ride safe. Eh, ito, ingat din kayo. At ano, um, send my regards kay Ma'am Chloe na lang din, ha. Sige po, bye. Tara, kape tayo. I am currently here at uh, Resto Bus. Isa siyang kainan na I think this this is ano, this is um, initiative din siya ng Oblets of St. Joseph. Uh, dito sa Lanunciata Parish sa Muntinlupa. So basically, itong area na to eh ano, eh ginawa nilang kainan uh, malamang sa malamang uh, maraming ano maraming kumakain dito pag linggo but I, um, I'm recording this on a Saturday so ako lang talaga ang ano ang nandito pero mamaya ang gabi panigurado maraming ano maraming uh, mag-ano dito kakain din dito kasi anticipated mass or the first vespers for for the Sunday uh for the Sunday next. The reason why I am recording this brood banter is because uh, usap-usapan uh, during the ano, during the uh, uh, during the past few years yung ano prospective uh, perspe uh, pros um, yung plano ng Catholic Bishops Conference of the Philippines na magtatag o mag-establish ng isang permanent diaconet. Basically, uh, married men can be deacons if there is ano, uh, kung, kung ano sila, kung uh, qualified sila, uh, qualified sila sa ano nila, uh, ng 
uh, qualified sila sa diocese nila. Kaya na, na, na ano yun, na parang napag-usapan yun kasi there are uh, there are a lot of um, deacons of Filipino descent across the Pacific. Kung hindi yung nagkakamali, meron sa Washington, D.C. Meron din sa, meron din akong kilala na ano, na uh, uh, deacon na na-incardinate sa, sa isang diocese uh, sa Amerika yata yun. But he's of Filipino descent. And then, uh, yun nga, uh, marami sila doon. Kumbaga, naging ministry in itself na siya. Now, here in the Philippine context, we don't have that. But, the next best thing that we have are extraordinary ministers of Holy Communion or yung mga EMHC. Full disclosure, I am an, uh, I am an uh, EMHC of my own parish. So, medyo ano din ako, medyo apektado din ako dito. But in a way, eh, uh, it's a welcome relief. Kasi honestly, hindi ako karapat dapat na uh, i-distribute ang katawan ni Kristo sa aking mga kapwa, ano, kapwa Kristiyano. But then again, uh, by the grace of God, eh, nabigyan ako ng pagkakataon na ganun. And you know, bala na. Wala talaga akong ambisyon. Pero kung talagang tinawag ako doon, why not? But of course, uh, ito, ito, it's a double-edged sword. Kasi, uh, if you're like me, eh, uh, ito, ito, if you're a married man, uh, if your wife dies, you would stay single. Kahit na ano ka, kahit na diakono ka. But, uh, ang medyo uh, complicated is for single uh, folks like me na merong ano merong um, uh, girlfriends or fiancés or wives um, medyo ano na yung mga ano na uh, uh, the younger EMHCs kasi even if mabigyan man ako ng ano ng ano mabigyan man ako ng permission ng magiging misis ko eh, the stigma is there na kapag pumasok ka ng seminaryo dapat wala kang asawa, wala kang ano girlfriend, parang skandalo pa rin yun that's, that's the thing yun yung medyo eh, that's the public perception of it kaya lang kasi uh, it also addresses the uh, the elephant in the room and that elephant in the room is the lack of priestly vocations. Let's face it, mga kababayan. We are already importing priests from from foreign lands to have uh, to to uh, to minister to the to the Philippine Church. There's also this problem about uh, ano yun? uh the distribution of Holy Communion. And as as someone who is an EMHC, uh, I. I uh, accept that, or I uh, really accept, but I recognize that, ano, that need for uh, further reverence of the Blessed Sacrament. So, talagang, maano yun, talagang ma, uh, madugong, ano, madugong process yun, and madugong, ano, and, uh, of course, uh, disposition na rin ng tao, yung disposition pa na rin ng kalalakihan na, uh, na nasa ministry na yun. I myself am struggling with uh with uh, with what I do. Kaya naisip ko talaga na I'm not really fit for this ano. I'm not really fit for the diaconate if if ever na magkaroon ng ano ng mga permanent deacons dito sa Pilipinas. But then again, hindi ko rin masasabi. If it's God's will that I enter the seminary as a permanent deacon. If ever I get married, so be it. To the bishops of the Philippine Church, your eminences, your excellencies, your lordships, uh, may you deliberate this very well and may you, deser- may you discern properly on, on this matter and a lot of matters that really, uh, that really are... Uh, uh, being uh, talked about in the Philippine Church. 
May God have mercy on you and may God bless you even more. Cheers. And before I go, shout out nga pala sa Lanon Siata Parish at sa Resto Bus for their um for this concept kasi at least ano, at least talagang maano ako. At least may mga tao talaga nakakain talaga dito. Yo, di ako naka-helmet kasi naka-parking ako pero yan. Ay, sa sa mga pro-web na nag-nag-pike ako ngayon. Ah. Uh, I don't know how how would I start this? Paano ko to siya? Paano ko siya uh, lalagyan ng kwento? Pero you see mga kababayan. I'm not in the ano, optimal condition to cycle. Medyo parang ano, uh, nagma-migraine yata ako pero Medyo ano pa, medyo medyo sinisip, medyo uh, sinisip pa ng konti pero uh, kinakaya naman. Ang destination ko ngayon ay uh, Labang Town Center. Pero nandito ako sa Marcos Alvarez Avenue para uh, iwasan yung ano, yung ahon sa ano, sa um, iwasan yung ahon sa ano, sa uh, Danghare kasi ano eh uh, yung papuntang Meadows kasi mula in Rapid HQ may uh, medyo banayad na ahon yun pero still it's uh, medyo ahon ito naman din may ahon din pero uh, mas madali siya sakyan kasi bukod sa sanay na ako dito sa lugar na to eh ano talagang <laughs> uh, we're good um, okay ako sa ano sa lugar na to anyway isang oras na ako nagkuha pa siya kaya Ah, uh, inaano ko lang. Pero sa isang oras na 'yon naka halos 10 km na ako, 10 kilometers mula Intrepid HQ. I never knew. <laughs> so, pa-inga lang ako sa glit and then um pa-chocolate ako. As you can see, nasa ano ako, nasa harap ako ng Jollibee. Actually, ano ako eh, uh, pumadyak ako, late na ng hapon ako pumadyak pero Ah, uh, ganun talaga. I have to ano, I have to uh, uh, sustain this hobby uh, for uh, at the very least. And uh wag kayong magalala kaya ako tumampi sa Jollibee kasi <laughs> uh, bumili ako ng ano, ng hapunan ko. Today is a Friday, the 24 of February 2023. At bukas ay ang um, anniversaryo ng uh, People Power Revolution and then the powers that be Uh, <laughs> uh, declared that uh, due to holiday economics walang pasok ngayon so I am cycling on a Friday night so yun lang naman uh, you know it's just too surreal to even talk about that uh, to, be, to even talk about that uh, to even talk about that uh, event dahil sa totoo lang mga kababayan Uh, it is a success and a failure. Uh, a success because what people did in 1986, especially my own, ano, my own father, uh, especially my own father, was the, uh, they all did the right thing. I'm not here to argue. I'm not here to uh, uh, I'm not here to argue I'm not here to uh, say some uh, political shit I'm just uh, seeing it as in a historical ano, in a historical uh, perspective but then again it's a failure kasi uh, the people who uh, replaced uh, people who, re- who replaced uh, uh, the man who uh, the man who was deposed uh, during that time uh, did not deliver uh, that much to their promise. Well, even if, I know, even if uh, the people behind them are yun nga, uh, alam yun, uh, even if uh, what they have done in the past is uh, commendable, 
Sorry Jollibee na Sama ka pa dito <laughs> um, Yun nga uh, It's really ano It's really something that I think should be ano Should be uh, uh, Studied With a nuanced uh, With a nuanced perspective Kasi Ang nangyari na ay nangyari na While I am a bit um, Not really disappointed Pero While I'm a bit um, Sabihin na natin ano, Sabihin na natin uh, Na dismaya But It is what it is Hindi sa nagko-conform ako Pero There are better ways To uh, uh, To do things And besides We as a people Should not Uh, we as a people should not uh, uh, Paano ko sabihin ito? Uh, da, hindi, dapat, hindi, da, hindi dapat tayo naka, ano, eh, naka, uh, nakatuon sa mga taong nasa ano, sa kapangyari, kapangyarihan Because true power comes from us The people uh, The people That's the reason why uh, there's this celebration tomorrow ang sa akin lang mga kababayan George Santayana was right those who uh, those who ayun, those who uh, fail to learn about history are doomed to repeat it yun lang naman yung sa akin and uh, bago pa makipag-usap sa akin yung aso dito hello eh kakain na ako at baka uh, baka punta lang na ako sa ano, pag, pag uwi ko ng Intrepid HQ I'm on location sa Kapian sa Bukid um, ito yung default na puntahan ng mga siklista after nilang ano, after nilang um, umadyak sa Vermosa or kapag napakalapit lang nila mula dito katulad ko na uh, parang 30 minutes lang mula sa Intrepid HQ na dito na ako sa ano sa Kapihan. So basically, itong lugar na to ang uh, puntahan ko. This is basically my old stomping grounds. And this is also the old stomping grounds of my brother nung siya pa ang gumagamit ng bike. So uh, yun lang naman yung sa akin. Now, the reason why I'm uh, sharing this small or this ano this very uh, short video ay dahil ano uh, naisip ko lang naisip ko lang na sorry <laughs> naisip ko lang kasi na ano ba yan <laughs> naisip ko lang kasi na uh, alam niya na naisip ko lang na it's really ano it's really uh, a good ano A good way to uh, cycle Kasi Nagiging therapy na rin kasi siya uh, If you're not aware I'm having a, Having a little bit of a problem When it comes to my own mental health At isa, sa, isa na sa mga ano, isa, sa, isa na sa mga uh, Parang uh, Not really armchair therapy Pero uh, something therapeutic Of nature is cycling Kesa naman uminom ako, kesa naman gumamit ako ng ibang mga substances na baka makaproblema pa sa akin. Kaya it's ano, it's really uh, it's really ther- therapeutic na ganito nga na nagaano ako na nag uh, nagbibisikleta ako. It's much better. It's much better this way kasi Uh, kung hindi ko kung hindi ko to ano kung hindi to ginawa malamang sa malamang I would be fatter I would be much more depressed and whatever I'm not saying na ano na uh, mali yung iba mga coping mechanisms but this works for me at some point although na burnout ako one time nung pumadya ako ah uh, And I understand it's very, you know, it's very hard to uh, to maintain this hobby. But then again, <laughs> um, but then again, 
it's much better than nothing. Doing nothing. Kesa naman magmukmuk ka, i-ano mo na lang sa ano. Eh, hindi, sa akin. Ano, nakaharap na sa akin. <laughs> Opo. Pero, ayun nga. Ina, ang naisip ko lang kasi, mga kababayan. It is therapeutic in a way na, hello po, <laughs> hindi po ito na, na, ano lang sa akin to. <laughs> Ayan. <laughs> so, it's really therapeutic kasi, uh, <clears throat> Hindi ko alam kung gusto sabihin ko eh, pero uh, um, it just makes uh, it, it, it just makes my life suck less. Yun lang. Uh, it still sucks, pero at least I'm coping with it. And this is one of my coping mechanisms. Kaya kahit pa paano uh, I do this. I do this. So yun lang. Either way, um, it's a Sunday, kaya nagbabike ako. After, after this, eh, uh, ano na rin ako, uh, uwi na rin ako. So, yun lang naman ang ano ko, ang gagawin ko. And of course, um, gusto ko lang ding mag, ano, mag, <laughs> mag ano, uh, magpasalamat. Even though I'm a little bit um, frustrated with my own life, I'm still alive. I still thank God I'm still alive. So, yun lang naman yung sa akin. Anyway, um, hindi ko na papatagalin to. Just wanted to ano, um, shout out sa lahat ng mga siklista na nandito. Lahat ng mga siklista na nandito sa loob ng ano, kapian sa bukid ni Vermosa. Shout out sa kanila lahat. And, um... Uh, special shout out sa grupo na yan Solid Cyclista Cavite kasi uh, um, uh, I'm still friends with them and ano nakat- nakatuwa lang din yung ano nila yung uh, <laughs> nila. But, but anyway shout out sa lahat ng mga ano ng mga cyclista din dito sa ano sa Kapihan and uh, that's gonna do it for me as you might notice mahangin at Uh, umuuga tong ano umuuga tong uh, tripod pero bahala na now uh, some updates uh, bago bago lahat uh, just to let you know nag helmet ako papunta dito so uh, uh, hindi ako jempoy okay so mga kababayan uh, I really don't uh, want to say this at this point kaya lang kasi I just wanted to be um I just want to be transparent. And I'm honestly looking for something, something that I absolutely something that I absolutely enjoy and at the same time uh, make a living out of it. I know it's very ano, it's very uh, ideal at hindi siya ano, hindi siya para sa lahat. Pero kasi in these past few, few years of my life medyo naisip ko lang din na uh, uh, I had this opportunity to uh, to do something that I love and just because everything is going back to normal it's going away again and that means teaching Normally, I don't want to switch jobs, pero kasi naisip ko lang din na I wanted to share the things that I have learned, but not only, uh, but not only only on this ano on this platform, but uh, professionally as well, um, uh, pagtuturo kung baga, and not just any students, uh, college students. Kasi, doon ako mas hiyang. And honestly, teaching children is a little bit of a pain in the ass. Pero, shout out sa mga uh, elementary and high school, uh, elementary and uh, high school teachers, uh, both on junior and senior high. Uh, shout out sa inyo, uh, you're doing um, all that you can to be uh, be good uh, educators. Kaya lang talaga, ang niche ko talaga is ano, higher education. At, 
everything stacked everything is stacked um against me wala ko master's degree i'm still um i'm still in the process of ano of uh uh retaking or actually taking the civil service exam na udot sya noong 2020 because alam niyo na ko ano nangyari and uh at the same time I'm still looking for my niche. Actually, I I really did found it. Kaya lang, I just wanted to ano, I just wanted to um make sure na dito talaga ako. It sucks to be ano, to be um uh, should I say unemployed. It does. It does. Kaya uh Uh, at this point ano na lang uh, hanap talaga ako ng, ra- ng racket and uh, talaga in the past year uh, nag-record ako ng mga ano, ng mga pagay-pagay uh, me wearing uh, with me wearing uh, cycling gear and uh I'm actually trying to ano, I'm actually trying to uh, sort that out para para naman may ano din ako, may uh, may uh, ano din ako. So uh, I'm still looking at the ano uh, at what uh, what I can possibly ano uh, what I can possibly uh, call it. At this point, ang ano, uh, working title ko sa ano na to, sa project na to ay uh, Padjak Peregrino because I wanted to uh uh not really diverse, diversify but uh, have something in mind when it comes to uh, cycling and uh, more on and have more on uh, and use uh cycling as a way of meditation, as a way of therapy. Uh, for some and if you're uh, very religious just like me uh you can use uh you, you can act not use but you can um uh cycle as a way of being a pilgrim uh doing a pilgrimage uh, or a mini pilgrimage at yung pangapapadyakan mo ay yung mga ano yung mga lumang simbahan mga lumang shrine yung mga uh, pamosong shrines Maybe uh, some of the historical sites dahil ano din ako, history enthusiast din ako. But uh, either way, I wanted to, ano, I wanted to uh, uh, sort that out. So yun lang naman yung sa akin. I guess all that I have to say right now is uh, I raise a toast to everyone who has been uh, subscribed to this channel. All 155 of you or so. Uh, if it's not because of you guys eh, hindi na ako, ano, hindi na ako nag-YouTube kung nanatiling 10 subscribers yan or 15 or 20 or 50 but I just hope that 150 subscribers would um, would become 150,000 uh, before the end of uh, 2025 I'm just trying to be realistic pero anything goes but please um please help me out and uh, if you have uh, watched until this point thank you very much and shout out tarin sa lahat ng mga siklista dito hindi lang sa kapihan kundi yung mga nanonood ng ano ng channel dito. so thank you very much for your um, for your support in advance and uh Right team. Cheers. Anyway, magra-round to pa ako. Mga kababayan, as part of uh, this uh, year-long thing that I am recording a lot of the things that I've uh, uh, been into, nag-ride ako. Uh, yeah, yun yung kasama ko, yung naka-orange. So, uh, you know this place, St. Joseph Parish in Las Piñas, Old Las Piñas. Uh... A little bit of a uh, uh, history here or uh, 
full disclosure, uh, one of my, um, two of my friends, actually, mag-asawa sila na kaibigan ko, uh, prior to their marriage, they got married here last September 2019. And uh, nakakatuwa lang kasi, <laughs> uh, that, I, I think that was the first time that I ever uh, entered uh, St. Joseph's uh, Church. At ito yung pangalawang pagkakataon, pumadyak ako. So, yeah. Ticked off the uh, another tick on the, another tick on the bucket list. That's another tick on the bucket list. Yeah. Right now, nandito ako sa simbahan ng Kawit, um, Kawit Church, uh, the parish of Saint Mary Magdalene. So, nagulat kasi ako na may may banda. So, um, alam ko birthday lang ni Aguinaldo, so it's no big deal. Bakit may banda pa? Nagalong karami. Pero Naalaman ko sa mga parishioners dito ng mga ano ng mga uh, parokyano dito sa Kawit na nilabas pa si, ni si Santa Maria Magdalena kasi ang birthday boy ninyo ay isang deboto ni Santa Maria Magdalena hence yung faction ng Katipunan na na kinabibilangan ni ano ni uh, ni Aguinaldo ay tinawag na Magdalo. So uh, it's in her honor. So yun lang naman yung ano <laughs> Natutuwa lang talaga ako na uh, ito yung ano, ito yung parang nangyari. At, at pinoposition siya sa buong bayan, parang dun sa dulo pa yata, tapos uh, saka siya babalik dito sa, uh, sa kawit. And after that, uh, ano na ako, uh, balik na ako ng Intrepid HQ. So, yun lang naman ang gusto lang i-share at uh, nakakatuwa lang kasi uh, yun nga. Um, first time ko naka-experience na uh, nilabas si Santa Maria Magdalena. So, yun lang naman. on location ako ngayon sa uh, with my bike sa um, uh, uh, Palazzo Verde uh, aka uh, hindi ko maalala kung anong tawag ito uh, Fernbrook I'm not sure of the yeah this is Palazzo Verde at kung may naririnig kayong uh, mga trumpets it's because there's some kind of event inside and yeah um, talagang may mga ano, trumpeteers dito so, uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, the, those trumpeteers are practicing 40 hours a day. Malamang, malamang sa malamang mga lingling na bisyan. <laughs> and uh, they're practicing fanfares 40 hours a day. Anyway, as you can see here, 
there's sunflowers. I'm not sure kung uh, mga totoong sunflower to pero malamang sa malamang totoo. And a lot of people are fascinated about it. And uh, you know, let me just go ahead and uh, uh, tell you a little bit about the sunflower as a uh, uh, something, some kind of a uh, sign or symbol or whatever. Kasi mga kababayan, a lot of people are uh, arguing what is uh, what is an alternative uh, what is an alternative uh, symbol or uh, sign that uh, that is uh, that would uh, apply or sabihin natin ano, depict uh, neurodi- neurodiversity and autism in general and some people are saying it's the sunflower kasi Uh, as I mentioned last year Ano siya uh, Ginawa siyang uh, Ginawa siyang uh, Parang Unusual sign Or sabihin na natin ano uh, Distinct Or sabihin na natin eh, uh, Discrete sign Ng hidden disabilities Wherein uh, Anyone who has uh, Anyone who has A uh, a sunflower lanyard or a sunflower t-shirt or a sunflower uh, wristband or anything or maybe a sunflower cap and uh, during the pandemic years a sunflower face mask that would only mean he or uh, his children he or I mean uh, someone or someone's children uh, has a hidden disability such as uh, autism or whatever and I think it would be a It would be a great ano, it would be a great sign or it would be a great uh parang uh ito logo or um mascot uh if if I if you may, if I may um uh say it uh as an alternative to the puzzle piece and the infinity loop sign. So uh I have already ano, I've already uh talked about this I would prefer the infinity loop sign over the puzzle piece but if there's a depiction of a sunflower in it uh I would prefer the sunflower and besides uh Carol Jean Whittington of Mind Your Autistic Brain has actually um has actually uh used the sunflower uh, uh in the uh in uh in in the shine shine a light uh autism advocate Autistic Advocate campaign uh, And this year I am actually part of it And uh, yeah <laughs> um, I'm just gonna enjoy these sunflowers At balik na ako sa Intepid HQ Always remember that you're If you're a neurodivergent You're different but never less And as always Thank you for watching Okay so That's about it for uh, this video And uh, In Uh, in the future, you can check out my YouTube channel, Intrepid Ian Rinyon. Uh, do subscribe to it. Ring the notification bell by selecting all. And uh, like this video if you're... Uh, kung napapansin nyo na maganda yung ano ko, yung mga uh, ginagawa ko dito. I would definitely appreciate it. I am also at uh, Patreon, Buy Me A Coffee, Ko-Fi, and PayPal. The links to them are in the description below. I also am on the other social media platforms such as... Uh, Facebook, I have a Facebook page, The Intrepid Show with Ian Reñon. Uh, I'm also, I also have Twitter and uh, Instagram, pero bihira lang ako doon. Mas, mas ano ako sa Instagram. But I am very much, and I'm very much in, uh, involved with Facebook and YouTube. And uh, I also am on Spotify for my uh, podcast, The Intrepid, The Intrepid Podcast. And uh, I'm still thinking about uh, the next episode of it. And also, I would be, you know, I would be uh, uh, dishing out more content for my fourth anniversary, um, for my fourth anniversary uh, video. Or actually, this can be my fourth anniversary video uh, on my um, in uh, in uploading um, uh, all my stuff here on YouTube. So. Let's consider this the fourth anniversary video for YouTube. Yung si- for, first first year of cycling ko. So uh I guess that's all that I want to say and and um I'm not going to take too much of your time. 
I'll go ahead and uh, have this downloaded para ma include ko na to sa video and I would uh, leave you with uh, I'll leave you with uh, with the outro. So with all that said, this is Intrepid Ian Dinyon reminding you to at all times be the salt of the earth and the light of the world. Until then, look alive, stay alive, be kind to yourself and to each other. If you're a cyclist, ride safe and always wear a helmet. And as always, thank you for watching. From here in Intrepid HQ, ride safe and see you next time. Ian out.